Welcome to the IU SAS demo. So let me launch here. And as you can see, we've added more buttons since our last version here. And uh, so let me go through. Right now I'm logged in as, as a guest, so I'll see all the guest classes. So if I go into classes here, here's all the classes that the student would be registered in this term. And these are all the classes as opposed to just say today's classes. And if I go into click on a particular item, it'll show me more about that class. Here we got the instructor, the schedule, and if I go out, some other classes, for example, the computer science class right here, this has more information, notifications that are pulled from a back-end server. And uh, I can do the same thing with all my classes here. I can go into one and get more information. So that's the classes button. Grades allows a student to look up their grades and this pulls from some back-end servers as well um, something called banner as well as something called blackboard and some other servers as well and you can come in here and you find out about uh, not just not just final marks but also assignment marks and so I can come in here here's assignment 1 70s artwork here's the mark 85 out of 100 and the comment the instructor added is great work um, you can use the My Marks to post comments. And the, some of these things, like final grades, there are no comments posted. You just get a grade. And uh, so that's it. And it shows multiple terms um, for your grades. It doesn't go back forever, but it does go back a little ways. Okay. So if I go into the Huskies button, this gives you information about what's going on with the Huskies. And I can get the, the scores and the schedule as well. And in the news here, if I click on a particular item, I can get more information about that item. And I can zoom in and zoom out using multi-touch to read the article and everything. And uh, same sort of thing here with the USSU. I can come in here. I can find out more about a particular story. And uh, they also have an executive blog, clubs and uh, the ever popular Louis tab which is our local pub of course and uh, so that's it for that so we also have the library here so I can actually come in here and I can actually look at my library account I can search the entire library catalog including I can limit my search to say journal titles or just electronic resources however I want to do that and uh, you can also get for example the library hours of the different libraries here Okay, so the map, the next thing here. So we have a map that, that shows where you are on campus. And I'm not on campus right now, which is why you don't see a little blue dot indicating where I am right now. And uh, this is actually overlaid on top of Google Maps. So if you actually sh see here, if I make the image go away by hiding it, you can actually see what's going on underneath. And I can, of course, zoom in and zoom out. And, uh, okay. Email, this new button, it allows you to set up your pause email using IUSAS so that you can get your email through pause in, in your iPhone. It actually sh sets up the mail application for you. Okay, final exams. This will sh tell you about uh, what final exams you have for the term if the information is posted. So here we have the date, the time, and the location for each final exam. Okay. Um, another popular one here is the, the webcams. I can look around campus and see what's available there and uh, basically take a look at all, all that's going on on campus. I know I'm going a little quick through some of these. Um, so this one, the podcast, this is actually, it's similar to these other news stories and everything, except here, if I click on a particular item, this is actually an audio file and it's going to play that audio file right now. And of course, you can zoom Try through it here and, and promote kind of healthy lifestyle. Right on. And what are some of the reasons people are active or eat healthy? Um, well, as far as I guess in both situations, a main reason that people cite or say that they're active. And then we also have videos that are part of the application. So I can come in here and, and touch on a particular item, and it'll actually play a video talking about research that's going on at the university. First, all chicken trends start with an electron gun, 
that accelerate, and then it goes into the accelerator van that, that accelerates it to 99.9% of the speed of light. And then it goes into the usage ring or main ring, that, and, and they use magnets to make it go around corners. And then it gives off x-rays as it goes around the corners. And there's this thing called a wiggler that that it has lots of magnets and lots of corners, so it gives off lots and lots of x-rays. That's very good. And all those x-rays go into individual hutches where a sample is placed, and, and they measure how the x-rays come off the sample, and then it goes onto a computer, and, the, and it makes a thing called a spectrum that, that people like my mom and dad can read, and, and they know what, where atoms are in the molecules and what kind of atoms they are. So that's an example of uh, talking about some of the research going on here. Every single one of these is a video that you can watch to find out more, and the Signatron is one of, of course, the important parts of our university. Um, the Ask Us button, I can come in here and do a search for something. So let's say I'm looking for tacos, and I do a search. It'll actually find something that's relevant to my search. In this case, where can I eat on campus? And it'll just bring that information up. And you can read about that, and then you can also see, okay, based on my question, what are the suggested questions, and that sort of thing. Okay, so I don't want to go through everything here. Uh, Sheaf is our uh, university newspaper, and I can come in here, for example, and click on a, a particular story, and, and of course go in and read it and everything. And... Uh, I've also, there's actually more buttons in the application that you haven't seen, and one of them, if I go into settings here, I can turn on the other buttons. These are optional buttons that aren't turned on by default because they're for specific groups. And now you can see we now have the alumni button, the education button, and the nursing button. So if I come in here, for the example, the alumni, I have two different tabs here of information and news. And so can find out more about that particular item. And same thing with the education. I can come in here and find out about nursing here. They've actually posted the textbook for the different locations. Um, so I can come in here and find out, depending on what class I'm in, what books I need to, to buy. Um, I can also look up people here, like the staff, uh, find out uh, about that particular person. And then there's also a Dean's blog, which is another set of videos, similar to what I showed you before. So there's quite a bit in the application now. That's our demo. Thank you for joining us.